press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello friends, welcome to Phoenix Educare. Welcome to the fourth part of the chapter Physiography and Drainage. Physiography and Drainage is the third chapter in 10th Maharashtra State Board Geography. So let us begin with the fourth, fourth part. So in the fourth part, we will study about drainage system in India or different types of rivers that are found in India. So rivers in India are largely classified according to their source of origin. So there are some rivers that are originating from Himalayas so that are called as Himalaya rivers, Himalayan rivers like Brahmaputra river, Ganga river, Yamuna river or uh, Indus river or Sindhu river. These rivers are Himalayan rivers and there are some rivers like Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, Mahanadi that rivers are originating from peninsular region. So that are called as peninsular region. So the, we are having two types of river, Himalayan river and peninsular river. Himalayan river are having water throughout the year. पूरे साल उसमें पानी होता है तो दैट आर दैट आर कॉल्ड एज पेरिनियल रिवर एंड पेनिनसुलर रिवर्स आर सीजनल रिवर वहां से बारिश होता है तो ज्यादा पानी होता है तो दैट आर सीजनल रिवर्स सो लेट अस सी अबाउट द ड्रेनेज सिस्टम इन इंडिया इफ यू सी द मैप ऑफ इंडिया हियर वी आर हैविंग लेक मानसरोवर लेक मानसरोवर इज लोकेटेड इन तिब्बत इट इज इन चाइना लेक मानसरोवर के एक तरफ से एक रिवर स्टार्ट होता है और दूसरी तरफ से एक रिवर स्टार्ट होता है इस तरफ से जो रिवर स्टार्ट होता है दैट रिवर इज कॉल्ड एज ब्रह्मपुत्र रिवर इन इंडिया In Tibet, it is called as Sangpo. Sang Sangpo River in India is called as Brahmaputra River. And in this part, we are having Indus River. This side say Indus River आता है. Or it is also called as Sindhu River in India. So the, and there are rivers called uh, river the river known as Ganga River that is that is starting from here or Gangotri Glacier, Yamuna River, Yamun Yamunotri Glacier से start होता है. So origin Yamunotri Yamunotri Glacier is the origin of Yamuna River. गंगोत्री ग्लेशियर इज द ओरिजिन ऑफ गंगोत्री रिवर सो यहां से गंगा रिवर स्टार्ट होता है एंड दिस देयर आर डिफरेंट ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ रिवर देयर आर सेपरेट डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटरीज ऑफ रिवर ट्रिब्यूटरीज मींस जो रिवर मेन रिवर के अंदर वाटर ऐड करता है यमुना रिवर गंगा रिवर से यहां मीट होता है तो ये यमुना रिवर गंगा रिवर में वाटर ऐड कर रहा है सो दैट बिकम्स अ ट्रिब्यूटरी जो रिवर मेन रिवर से वाटर लेके जाता है वापस दैट बिकम्स अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटरी सो देयर आर वेरियस ट्रिब्यूटरीज एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटरीज दैट आर मेकिंग अ रिवर सिस्टम दिस आर द हिमालयन रिवर्स यहाँ जो ये इंडस का ट्रिब्यूटरीज है सतलज रवि बियस चनाब झेलम दिस आर द ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ इंडस रिवर ऑल्सो वी आर हैविंग पेनिनसुलर रिवर लाइक गोदावरी रिवर कृष्णा रिवर कावेरी रिवर महानदी रिवर दिस आर पेनिनसुलर रिवर ये पेनिनसुला प्लेटो से ओरिजिनेट होते हैं सो दिस आर द डिफरेंट रिवर्स मेन रिवर्स इन इंडिया एज आर ओल्डर देन हिमालय दम सेल्फ सो हिमालय के जो रिवर्स है ये हिमालय से भी पुराने हैं लास्ट ईयर यू मस्ट स्टडीड अबाउट हाउ हिमालय वेर फाउंड हिमालय इज ऑन द प्लेट बाउंड्री दो प्लेट के बाउंड्रीज पे हिमालय का हाइट आज भी बढ़ते जा रहा है सो so, हिमालय से भी पुराने हिमालयन रिवर्स है सो इफ यू सी द हिमालयन ड्रेनेज सिस्टम मोस्ट ऑफ द मेजर रिवर्स इन हिमालय ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम वेरियस ग्लेशियर सो एज वी है यमुनोत्री ग्लेशियर से यमुना रिवर स्टार्ट होता है गंगोत्री रिवर से गंगोत्री ग्लेशियर से गंगा रिवर स्टार्ट होता है सो इन समर वेन द ग्लेशियर मेल्ट The discharge of the water increases in summer. So glaciers are uh, ice. Ice जब इस summer में melt होता है तो वहाँ से water discharge होता है. Water discharge होने के बाद वो river में add हो जाता है. So they are flood during the monsoon too. So in monsoon also as the river gets more and more water, that rivers are big, uh, that rivers are getting more and more water, and there are floods in that area where the river flows. They are perennial river. Perennial river means river that are uh, having water throughout the year. The drainage covers uh, two main uh, two main river systems such as Sindhu River system and Ganga River system. Sindhu River Sindhu River is also called as Indus River. So Sindhu River system and Indus uh, Ganga River system. Sindhu and its tributaries or Indus and its tributaries, Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, Satl Satluj and Ravi and Satluj. There is one more river called as Bias. We can remember this this with a shortcut called as J C R B S. J means Jhelum, C means Chenab. R means Ravi, B means Bias, and S means Satlas. There is one more tributary of river in this that is called as Satlas uh, Bias River that is not given here. That rivers drain the western Himalayas and they flow through the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir से ये flow होते हैं. Jammu and Kashmir के बाद ये पाकिस्तान में enter करते हैं. They flow almost parallel to each other. Major tributaries of river Sindhu or river Indus. The Satlas originates from Mahan Sarovar and flows westwards. 
Punjab plains have formed from the deposition work of this river. So we have seen in the first part how Punjab plains are formed. So Satlas river ke deposit ke bajay se, Satlas river mein jo sand sediments hai, ye jabhi deposit karta hai, deposition, har saal jabhi deposition hota hai, to wahan land ban jata hai, that are plains or Punjab plains. So Punjab plains have formed from the deposition work of rivers and its tributaries. Sindhu flows through Pakistan and meets the Arabian Sea. So Karachi ke paas Sindhu river ya Indus river Pakistan mein meet hota hai. The river Ganga originates from the Gangotri glacier and crosses the Himalayas to become an east flowing river. So Ganga river originates from Gangotri glacier. Gangotri glacier se originate karta hai, Himalaya cross karke Ganga river is karta hai, it is flowing here. It is going and meeting Brahmaputra river in Bay of Bengal, uh, sorry Bangladesh. Ye Ganga river hai, ye Brahmaputra river hai, dono river meet karta hai aur continuous flow Bay of Bangladesh ke baad uh, Bay of Bengal mein meet karta hai. So another major tributary of Ganga flows towards the northern part of greater Himalayas, crosses the Himalayas and enter India. While it flows to, uh, through the Himalayas, it is called as Sangpo. So it is the Brahmaputra river. Brahmaputra river is originating from Manasarovar lake. And it is moving, it is coming from Tibet. Tibet ke baad India mein enter karta hai. Tibet mein jabhi river flow karta hai, usse bolte hai Sangpo. Ye Brahmaputra river ka Tibet mein naam hai. When it is entering India, it is called as Dihang river. Or Adhyang river. After that, it is called as Brahmaputra river. A Brahmaputra river ke three names hai. In Tibet, it is called as Sangpo. When it is entering in India or in Arunachal Pradesh, it is called as Dihang river. As it is advancing further, it is called as Brahmaputra river. Another major tributary of Ganga flows to the northern part of its greater Himalaya. It is called as Sangpo. Then there is one more uh, river called as Yamuna. Yamuna is originating from Yamunotri glacier and it is major tributary of Ganga. Yamuna river and Ganga river are meeting each other at Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, Ganga meets and tributaries and it discharge increases. Ganga receives Brahmaputra as its tributary and it is uh, lower reaches in Bangladesh. Ye jo Ganga river hai or Brahmaputra river. This is Ganga river and this is Brahmaputra river. Both the rivers are meeting and their continuous combined flow is going and meeting Bay of Bengal in Bangladesh. So, this Ganga river ka tributary ban jata hai Brahmaputra river. Also, we are having Yamuna river. Yamuna river and Ganga river are meeting here. Here we are having Allahabad. It is in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, and uh, because of this deposition, because the deposition is more, then more and more sand and salt, sand and slit is deposited. Sand, rock, salt, slit jabhi deposit hota hai, to waha plains ban jate So, we are having Ganga plains, Brahmaputra plains. Uh, beside the Himalayan river, Ganga receives a number of tributaries from peninsula like Chambal, Kain, Betwa, San, Damodar. These are rivers. Kain, San, Betwa, Chambal, Damodar. These rivers are meeting Ganga river. So, this is a peninsula river. This is a central highland river which meets the Ganga river. Ko meet karte. These are also tributaries of the river Ganga. Tributaries means these rivers are adding water to Ganga. So, these are tributaries of Ganga. If you see the Yugli river here. Hugli river is distributary of Ganga or it is taking away water from Ganga. So, it is distributary of Ganga. Now, we will see about peninsula. The peninsula rivers can further be divided into eastern flowing river or meeting Bay of Bengal. Peninsula river ke kuch river hai jo Bay of Bengal ko meet karte. Jaysay Damodar, oh, sorry, Mahanadi, Krishna, Godavari, Kaveri and there are some rivers called as Narmada, Tapi that are going to Arabian Sea. So, ye westward flowing rivers hai. Arabian Sea ke taraf jo rivers jate that are westward flowing river. Bay of Bengal ki taraf jo rivers jate that are eastward flowing rivers. So Western Ghat from the major part water divide in peninsula. So Western, Western Ghat is acting as a water divide. Western Ghat ke ku, is tar, ek taraf kuch rivers jate aur dusri taraf kuch rivers jate. So it is acting as a water divide. So Western Ghat is acting as a water divide. Water ko divide kar raha hai. The uh, peninsula rivers being rain fed rivers. Rain fed river means these rivers are getting water only because of rainfall. So these are rain fed rivers. Seldom face and problem of floods. They are seasonal in nature. So, when there is rainfall, hota hai, to this river mein flood aata hai. But during non-monsoon season, these rivers are not having water. So, these are seasonal rivers. Sip season mein hi water hota hai. So, these are seasonal rivers. Then further, the western flowing river are the areas between Western Ghats and Arabian Sea. Arabian coastline and the short is swift. And this continuous uh, condition is short and swift river system exists Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Southern Gujarat. So, this region is Western Plains region, Western Coastal Plains region. There is a river very short, swift. 
तो वहाँ छोटे छोटे रिवर्स है लाइक वी आर हैविंग वाच वी आर हैविंग सावित्री रिवर और वी आर हैविंग जोहरी रिवर दिस आर द डिफरेंट रिवर्स डेट आर फाउंड इन वेस्टर्न कोस्टल प्लेन्स सो दिस आर फाउंड रिवर्स आर फाउंड इन केरला कर्नाटका महाराष्ट्र एंड सदर्न गुजरात तो कोस्टल रीजन ऑफ केरला हैव लॉन्ग एक्सटेंडेड बैक वाटर्स यू मस्ट हैव सीन बैक वाटर्स ऑफ केरला तो वहाँ बैक वाटर्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस कयाल्स इन केरला लोकली उनको कयाल्स बोलते हैं The further northward uh, comes along across uh, the river system, flowing in the Gulf of Khambat. So, Gulf of Khambat is this. So, ye Gulf of Khambat, Narmada River and Tapi River. These are meeting Arabian Sea near Khambat. So, these are the two westward flowing rivers. So, if you uh, if you get a question in exam, which are the two westward peninsula river? That answer is Narmada and Tapi. Narmada and Tapi are the two major rivers that are going and meeting Arabian Sea. These are westward flowing rivers. So Narmada and Tapi flow towards the rift valleys. Mahi River flows to the northeast to the southwest direction, whereas River Sabarmati, River Sabarmati is in uh, is in uh, Gujarat, collects the headwaters from southern slopes of Aravalli and flows somewhat north south direction. So Sabarmati River. अरवली से स्टार्ट होता है और नॉर्थ साउथ डिरेक्शन में फ्लो करता है एंड इट इज हैविंग कैचमेंट एरिया इन अरेबियन सी कैचमेंट एरिया मीन वेर द रिवर इज मेट रिवर लूनी रिवर लूनी इज ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम राजस्थान राजस्थान से रिवर लूनी ओरिजिनेट होता है बट दैट रिवर लूनी इज नॉट मीटिंग द सी ये सी को मीट नहीं करता है बीच में ही एंड हो जाता है रिवर लूनी इज द मेजर रिवर इन राजस्थान डेजर्ट It originates from the western slopes of Aravalli and flows in the somewhat north-south direction and flows into the Gulf of Kutch. A Gulf of Kutch stuck. ये sea को meet नहीं कर पाता. ये बीच में end हो जाता है. River meeting the Bay of Bengal. Now we will talk about river meeting the Bay of Bengal. Most of the uh, areas of the peninsula is drained by the rivers which flow towards the Bay of Bengal. The most important rivers of the group are Mahanadi, Godavari. Mahanadi River occupies the northeast part of the peninsula. So, the Godavari Mahanadi River is in the north, सबसे northern part में. Mahanadi River के बाद आता है Godavari River. Godavari River के बाद आता है Krishna River. And in the south we are having Kaveri River. Mahanadi Godavari Krishna and Kaveri. So, Mahanadi Godavari Krishna Vari Ka Krishna and Kaveri originate in the eastern slopes of Western Ghats. River Godavari is the second largest river system of India, and it is termed as in terms of catchment area. River Godavari is also called as Dakshin Ganga. सबसे बड़ा पेनिसुलर रिवर है रिवर गंग रिवर गोदावरी टू द साउथ ऑफ गोदावरी इज लोकेटेड द रिवर कृष्णा ए ट्रिब्यूटरीज आर भीमा एंड तुंगभद्रा सो भीमा शंकर जो महाराष्ट्र में है वहां से जो रिवर स्टार्ट होता है दैट इज कॉल्ड एज भीमा रिवर एंड वी आर हैविंग तुंगभद्रा रिवर सो दिस आर द ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ रिवर रिवर कृष्णा रिवर कवेरी बेसिन फ्लोज थ्रू द स्टेट्स ऑफ क्रिस्ट कर्नाटका एंड तमिलनाडु इट इज वन ऑफ द मेजर रिवर इन पेनिसुला इट इज द रिवर दैट हैज हार्नेस फॉर इरीगेशन सिंस लॉन्ग टाइम सो so, ये जो कावेरी रिवर है वहाँ से हम वाटर यूज करते हैं इरिगेशन के लिए इरिगेशन मीन्स वेन वी आर नॉट हैविंग वाटर बिकॉज ऑफ रेनफॉल वी आर टेकिंग वाटर फ्रॉम द रिवर वाया कैनाल सो कावेरी रिवर का बहुत सारा वाटर कैनाल इरिगेशन के लिए यूज होता है इन कर्नाटका एंड इन तमिलनाडु सी चोला किंग कंस्ट्रक्टेड डैम ऑन रिवर कावेरी इन सेकेंड सेंचुरी एडी और सेकेंड सेंचुरी नियर दियर थ्रिजरापल्ली एंड स्टार्टेड इरीगेशन In this deltaic region, till today the dam is there and canals are operational. So it is made hundreds of years ago, but still the land is, but still the dam is operational now also. Uh, so you hope you have understood this part also. If you have understood, please share the video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel. Also tell your friends to subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching.